Well, the ego can't reflect upon itself unless it has a mirror against which to read itself, and that mirror would be the mythological schedule that lets it know where it is. It's a mirror with a schedule on it, a patterned mirror, and the ego sees itself in that reflex and knows where it is on the, on the, on the scoreboard. Just for example, a person who at the age of 40 is wondering whether he, uh, he's going to be punished by mother hasn't, hasn't, uh, hasn't moved on. And a person at the age of 80 who's wondering, how's my God score? He hasn't moved on either. And, I mean, just in a raw, gross way, this is, uh, this is the problem. The myth lets you know where you are. And it knows what the patterns have been of life through centuries in that position that you now are entering or holding. He should see himself, the 40-year-old now should see himself as a free, willing, independent, self-responsible human being. Uh, and he should have certain noble heart powers uh, that have been called to his attention and then to which he has been invited to give himself uh, that will enable him to act in terms of nobility, not in obedience, you know, but out of himself. And uh, the older person must know, I'm now, not now participating in the achievement of life, I have achieved it. And I'm looking back, and I can tell you there's a wonderful moment that comes when you realize I'm not striving for anything. And what I'm doing now is not a means to achieving something later. Youth has always to think that way. Every decision a young person makes is a commitment to a life course. And if you make a bad decision of that angle, by the time you get out there, you're far off course. But after a certain age, there's no future. And suddenly the present becomes rich. It becomes that thing in itself which you're now experiencing. And if you've been prepared a little bit for that, you're ready. If you don't know, I've had the experience of lecturing to old age groups, you know, and myself actually in old age. I'm f I'll be f uh, 79 next month. Uh, I can tell you there came a gradual realization. Boy, this is it. I'm in that place. And every experience is of value in and for itself without any reference to anything that might happen. I've, I've mentioned this to older groups and people come up to me afterward and say, we didn't realize. It's beautiful. And uh, those it figures that you see, I can think of a couple of Renaissance pictures of an old man or an old woman looking at a just-born child. These are the two eternities. The youth, the, the lovely young thing, and the old one who's not in history anymore. But in between is history. You're participating in a historically conditioned culture. And part of the role of myth is to relate that historical conditioning to what the old man and the child uh, present across the ages of life.